Hey, what is up guys? It is Uncle Kobe and are you guys enjoying this game? Because I sure as hell am and at first I wasn't really digging it, you know, I'll admit that. But now that everyone has it and everyone's, you know, getting into good lobbies, I'm really enjoying it and I hope you are too. But what I wanted to talk about today was one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite game mode so far, that is Hardpoint. I've been playing this non-stop and the reason for it is because I've just been racking up the XP every single game and I found ways to maximize the amount of points that I get every game and that's what I want to share with you today. A few tips and tricks as well as the biggest tip I can give uh, when trying to go for as many points as possible and you know that's what it's all about on my channel so let's get started. The first thing I want to go over is your class setup because a couple of these things are very important to equip. So starting off with your weapon, this is all personal preference, but I do recommend an SMG with either fast mags or extended clip if you have it, because you're going to be seeing multiple guys running at you all the time, and you want to have the ability to get those double and triple kills, but what's most important is your tier 2 perks, fast hands and scavenger. Now I know a lot of you may not have scavenger quite yet, but once it comes available, trust me, unlock it, it is a good investment. But with fast hands, obviously you're going to be able to throw your equipment faster, and, you know, and that's great, but the main reason why I use it is because you can throw enemy grenades back and the timer will reset on them and you would not believe how many kills I have gotten just playing hot potato with these kids and tossing them back to whoever threw them at me and on hard point there are a lot of grenades being spammed to your direction if you're playing the objective so I cannot stress that enough the next thing is scavenger and just like in black ops 1 your equipment gets resupplied as well and that is awesome slightly OP but hey if it's in the game use it so this one is pretty self-explanatory you're gonna be getting a lot of grenade kills on hard point and the more grenades you have at your disposal the better but I do recommend using semtex so people don't throw them back at you like you'll be doing to them I also suggest using stuns because one they're really powerful and you get a lot of points when your teammate gets kills on people that you have stunned normal assists you know usually get you around 25 points but uh, concussion assists give you 50 points you know so that's double the points just for stunning someone and you know, that can't be easier you just toss stuns in their direction and you'll get those assists so remember spam those nades it may seem like a cheap and noobish tactic but i could give two shits if it's helping me rack up the points and the final thing i want to share with you guys has to do with the points that you receive when you first control the hard point but before i do let me just say this is not good for your kd ratio at all this is good for getting a ton of points so that you can level up as quick as possible so uh, when you first hop in before anyone else you get 200 points right off the bat now when you're staying in the hard point, you aren't getting any points for yourself, you are getting team points, you know, that goes towards the win, but you personally aren't getting any points. So there's two things you can do. One, try to get as many kills as you can while in there so you can get the extra 25 points per kill, as well as constantly throwing the grenades back at your enemies, like I said before. Or two, leave the hard point and let the other team capture it. And the reason for that is the other team captures it and you kill them and hop back in, you get another 200 points for capturing it again. So if you can do this like five times a hard point location, that's a thousand points right there, not even counting the bonus points you get for killing an enemy while you're in the hard point or while they're in the hard point. I'm not sure if this will be patched or if this is just how the game mode works, but either way, I've been constantly racking up 10,000 point games doing this and I hope it helps you do it too. But anyways guys, the game is still in its very early stages, so I'm just going to continue playing and finding out helpful tips and tricks that I can then bring to you. So if you enjoyed the video, please take the time to leave it a like, maybe even a favorite, and let me know what you think of this tactic. You know, some may call it cheap, but I call it effective, so I don't really care. And one last thing I want to show you, just I just thought it was pretty funny, was this picture that someone tweeted out bragging that they went 91-2. and two. What a great score, but the best part of it is that he had the lowest, one of the lowest scores on his team. So that just goes to show you, play those objectives, get those points, and f*** KD. As always, thank you for the support. This is Uncle Kobe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.